What's up, my faithful minions? This is Master Maniac, and I'm back with another episode of Forever Stranded Lost Souls. Uh, between last episode and this episode, I have done a lot of work moving stuff over. Uh, by the way, I realize why this isn't working. We don't have grid power. I'm, I'm dumb. But over here, just over this hill, you guys will see this behemoth. Far bigger than what we were working with before. Uh, and actually, oh, there's the jump boost, or the double jump, or whatever it is. Oh god. So it's a little tough to get in for the moment. I should really do something about that. There we go. And all of my stuff is in here, and very, very, very cluttered. Uh, over here, I have made a great big expanded farming area, and I actually planted down the immersive engineering hemp. Uh, turns out, if you break it, you get the immersive engineering hemp seeds and the better with mods hemp for whatever reason. But it's fine. It's, it's no big deal at all. Uh, I figured I wanted to use these because at some point I could get a diesel gen up and running. And hopefully make use of uh, diesel power. But we'll, we'll deal with that later. Uh, right now, as a result of making all of these factory blocks, I have, uh, I have approximately none iron. Uh, approximately, because I literally have one iron. Uh, so I guess the biggest thing I need to do for the moment is get an elevator built to the downstairs area. And in order to do that, I'm going to need one of these. Because I don't actually have a downstairs area. Do I have a crafting table? I have no crafting table in here. Great. Uh, yeah, just, just give me this one. That'll do. And then we'll take our wool like this. And yeah, everything that's in here is set up and functional for the most part. Uh, the Better With Mod stuff is set up. I can toggle each individual machine, which is great. Uh, I've got the kiln here. I've got the cauldron here. The crucible is in this chest. It's all very disorganized, and it'll end up getting spread out eventually. Oh, right. I'm missing one of the sails for this windmill. Is that in here? I don't remember how much string I need for that. But anyway, let's go and attempt to find our way underneath here. And hopefully, we'll have a few different layers for this. Tell you what, guys, this is going to be a thing that's going to take a minute. So, ooh, Ender Daisy. Oh, dude. That's cool. Can I just... Oh, you can replant them? I would love to make some automation around that. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute whenever I'm... Uh, Whenever I'm, I guess whenever I've got a, uh, a portal set up downstairs. Be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And as you guys can see, I've got myself a spot way down at Y, ooh, Y11. Uh, there's another landing up there for, like, copper level. But we've already got a bunch of copper. I'm not worried about copper for the moment. We're just going to let that be. So one of the things that I really want to work towards... All of my chests are so disorganized. Uh, one of the things that I really want to work towards is a drill from Actually Editions, which we're going to need a crap load of iron for. Uh, the next best option is going to be making our hammer just a wee bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and take this wooden hammer head and... 
we're going to probably put cobalt on the hammer. Uh, I do, however, need some gold. Oh my god, I hate that these chests are so disorganized. Right! I had a hopper on there. Forgot. So we'll go ahead and melt down this gold. We'll get this stuff ready to go. And uh, we should be able to make a better hammerhead and make the hammer mine faster because it is slow. It is uber, uber slow. Uh, just wondering. Is there like a... I thought there was at one point a tool rod made of blaze rods, but I'm probably mistaken there. So we'll get this going. It's going to take a while for this cobalt to melt down. Uh, I guess I'll catch up with you guys whenever that happens. So the, uh, the hammerhead's made. I was looking around at materials for the large plate because copper is not really that fast and it's not giving us much of a boost. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is make an emeratic large plate, which is mining speed 8, it's not bad, and a lot of durability, and a Restonia crystal, which is 8.8, .8. yeah, and 640 durability. I don't know what hearts does. But the Restonia is faster, basically I wanted a good balance between the faster speed and the uh, hearts. The higher your health, the more damage you do. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm not worried about that. Point is, this should be way faster than it was now. Oh yeah. Absolutely, I love it. Good. Good news. This is great for me to hear. I am now going to go mining for a while because I need a lot of iron. And I guess I'll catch up with you guys whenever I'm done. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back from mining and I've got a whole bunch of iron ore here. Uh, well, a stack. It's not, it's not an incredible amount. But I decided I wanted to make myself a pulverizer. Uh, specifically because doubling this would be amazing. So we're going to go ahead and temporary set up as with the majority of these things. Place these guys here, drop an iron block, and it's done. Delicious. Got a machine frame. And then I should be able to get the rest of these components pretty easily and then pulverizer awesome I'm gonna stick this dude right here and I'm going to make a couple of chests what I keep not putting that in my inventory and it's it's driving me a little bit insane. Also, that recipe didn't appear to consume my piston or my flint. Please explain. Oh, because there was already a piston in here, you dummy. Okay. Well, either way, I can place this dude here and this dude here on your configuration. I can do that and then in and out. Auto input enabled, auto output enabled. Now, I should be able to take my ores. And it'll start working through them slowly, but it'll do it. And then all I gotta do is smelt them up, so that's gonna double my ores fairly well. It should also give me some secondary outputs. But we'll see. Auto output's enabled. Why are you not? Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna crush down 
some ores and stuff, and I will be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, while the sun's up, part of what I want to do next depends on me having slime balls. So we're going to pop it out here, because I remember seeing a slime island. Yeah, way up there, you can just barely see it, actually. Video settings... Clouds? Clouds or somewhere. Off. There we go. Awesome. I don't like playing with clouds on. It feels wrong. So we're going to come over here. And we're going to get up there. I hope this is a green slime tree. Hope. Hope, hope, hope. There we go. We're just going to pillar up to it, hope nothing knocks us off to our death. If it does, we do have the whole multi-jump thing, so that is a thing in our favor, thankfully. We get up here, hopefully get ourselves a slimy sapling. I hope the purple leaf trees are the ones that do green slime balls for the trunks. That would be, would be amazing. I got it such a long way up, and it looks like the sun's going down. Great. 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 How far are you? Not far at all. Yes, it is those. Awesome. So, I'm going to just go ahead and punch this guy down. Punch these down. Oh, right. Right, right, right. I need something else for that. I forgot. Uh, do I have any wood on me? No, I don't. Well, that's unfortunate. What if I do that? Oh, hey. Slimy saplings, that's exactly what I was looking for. Awesome. While I'm here, may as well grab a bit of the blue stuff. Don't know if I'll need it for anything, but I'd rather have it, just in case. Is that all of it? Ooh. Big jump. Too big jump. Uh, okay, so now I just have to get down in a hopefully safe fashion. That part shouldn't be too terribly difficult. I really just don't want to leave this cobble pillar here, making the world look ugly. Yay, long travel. What is that? That is a blue creeper. I am not excited about that. That guy, right there. There's a mega torch in there. It's supposed to be blocking spawns. Whatever. I am going to book it back to the base. And we're not going to worry about Mr. Blue Creeper. Well, I say that. He appears to be dancing on a... Uh... What are you, guy? Yes, I know snow, but... Rocket Creeper? What? Oh, God. He is zoomy. Please let me hit you. Please let me hit you, please. There we go. Seems holding shift gets me just low enough to reach his hitbox. Alright, let 
let us get out of here. Oh, God. No creepers. Oh, no. Floaty snow block. Why? Is he still following? No, he stopped. Good. Good. That was probably, like, objectively horrifying. Hey, some gardens. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I ended up putting a piece of cobble down here to give myself a way back in. Okay, so I've got these. I should have a thing, another bonsai pot. Is it in tools, maybe? Bonsai. Where are you, my other hopping bonsai pot? I know I've got another one somewhere. Now what did I do with it? Are you in this chest? No. How about this one? No. Well, that's upsetting. Give me a minute. Let me figure out where that thing went and I'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. For the next portion of this, uh, we're going to need to do some stuff that should, in theory, net us a little bit of extra or er, quest rewards. So that's a cool thing. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff. And we're going to make Pestle and Mortar. I'm going to grab one of these dudes. And we're going to make some floral powder of the lime variety. I'm going to go ahead and stick that here and one of those there. And you can go back to plant matter. I also need an oak sapling and a slime ball. So doing the slime ball completed a quest. I'm not sure which one it was. I'll I'll go back through. I think it was in the Tinker's thing. More iron. Awesome. I love it. It gets processing. Um, what else do I need? I need an emerald block. And this should get us that empowered emerald crystal thing. Eventually. So now let's start looking at the drill. Well, I've got this up and running, so I need some coils. I should look and see. Oh yeah, we have a lot of filament. You were that thing. So I should be able to do like a stack of redstone, stack of glowstone, and a stack of string. And I can... Alright, I have to go all the way underneath to turn these guys back on, don't I? I had to set them up in a very particular way to keep them from, uh, from powering the gearboxes there. But those should be up and running now. Good. Excuse me. Now they were all lit before. better? Oh. 
looks better enough to me. So I should be able to get all this filament processing. That's something I'm going to need for a later portion of this. There we go. Sugar, you can go back in there. Alright, so what was I doing? I was doing the drill. Alright, no, I'm going to need filament for this. So I need... Copper. Just give me a bunch of it. So, how much of this stuff am I going to need? I'm going to need two. Six. I'm going to need six of these. Huh, I thought it would be more expensive than that. Okay. So, copper can go away. And filament can go away. Next, I need... Where are you? The drill which is the Nori Crystal Blocks and Restonia Crystal. And then I'm going to need... seven blocks total. Yeah. So there's those. I can go ahead... go ahead and oh, my hand has to be empty I hate that pick this up and unblock it it's pretty great so let's go ahead and get this drill core and then the drill is gonna take three diamonds and it's gonna take bit of gold. It is going to be... It's going to be quite a while before I'm used to this new base. Alright. So, I've already got this made. I need two of those. Oh, right. There we go. And we should be able to now craft the drill. Awesome. So the next portion of this is going to be getting these upgrades. So that's... 4, 8... Oh, I need a power Nori for the third one. Which is not bad at all. Okay, I can do that. Um... The cake, though. Do I have... I do have a regular cake. Awesome. How about Silk Touch? What did you need? Okay, so you need another advanced coil. Which is going to be... Oop. Actually, do all of you need coils? Maybe? This one's going to be a regular coil. Okay, so these augments are going to take a little bit of microcrafting. I'll be right back when that's done. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back and I should be able to make all of the augments that I need here. So there's speed 2. Speed 3 requires this empowered Inori, which wasn't too terrible to make. That'll complete a quest. So I'll take those. I actually got more of the diamond team than I need. This should be good to go. And this should be good to go. Fantastic. So I now have all of the augments that I could possibly want for this drill. Now the problem is, this drill takes RF. So I gotta do something about that before I can use it. So let's look at the energetic infuser. Conductance and reception coil. Okay, so I need silver, electrum, and gold. And two more gears and a machine frame. So give me a minute. Let me do the microcrafting for that, and I'll be right back. 
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and it is time to craft this energetic diffuser, which I will place right here. Wait a minute. Look there. A quest. Thermal. Yeah, to craft the energetic infuser. Odd. So I'm going to complete that. That's 420. Slash BQ admin. 420. Actually, before I do that, is there, yeah, there's no secondary task for that. So, oh whale. That should be complete now. Good. And I should be able to just chuck the drill in here. Let it fill up over time. It's going to take a little bit, but I'm perfectly fine with it taking actually on this upgrade required what does it take let's see what's it take to make you oh you're cheap the hardened glass is going to be a problem but I could at least give it one upgrade Augment. Production smelter. Pulverizer. Redstone furnace. Processing speed. It's a wireless one. Allows for damage items to be repaired. Here we go, the flux liquid linkage concentrator. That's silver plates. Oh dude. This is super, super easy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make some invar real quick and speed this thing up. I mean it doesn't take terribly long. But oh god. Yeah, now this thing's starting to struggle on power. I guess this isn't going to be enough. That's okay. We'll work out a power system later. Uh, give me a minute. Let me craft an upgrade. Or I'll tell you what. That's, that's something I can do off camera. For now, we have loot chests to deal with. Uh, I never claimed this. Okay. Uh, is any of this complete? No. Okay. So... Emeratic Crystal and the Inori Crystal are both complete. Uh, is that it? Oh, Slime Balls. Okay. I hear a slime. By the way, I think I never showed you guys. There's an upstairs as well. I'm planning on this being like a great big tower on the lake sort of thing. But I ran out of iron for these factory blocks. So it's going to have to be as it is for now. Anyway, let's pop these loot chests. See what we got. Oh, storage upgrades. Those are... The emerald ones especially are really nice. And another loot chest. Didn't I get an air block? Maybe not. Some chests and a small storage crate. That's always welcome. Chance pendant. We'll probably never use it. Oh god. Well actually this isn't so bad. soon as I figure out where the source is, and it's right there. This isn't so bad because I don't have... No, that's not the source. Because I don't have a bunch of, like, torches and stuff on the ground. There it goes. Jeez. Awesome. Well, these storage upgrades are actually going to be pretty nice, I think. 
right away, I want to put them on these guys. Yeah. And we'll set up a proper system for for all of this stuff later on. The cobble would also be nice, but it's already upgraded a bit. Okay. Well, I think, ladies and gentlemen, that this is going to be where I wrap it up for this episode. Ooh. Yeah. So let's come downstairs and see how fast this thing mines. Here's my back wall. Oh, yeah. Absolutely much, much, much faster. I love it. And it actually gets full blocks of stuff. Oh, because it's silk touch. Right, okay. Cool, excellent news. Uh, out of curiosity, what's the next upgrade? Oh, it's emerald. But it takes more gathering and building. Uh, I can actually upgrade that off camera. Hmm, okay. Well, uh, I, I may go ahead and upgrade the Dank Null to the next level between episodes as well, and obviously get this stuff going on. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed the episode, I guess leave a like, comment, sub down below, because this is about as much time as I have for today. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all take it easy.